Hey girls, hey, welcome back to my channel. I am Nika Scott, um, founder of Diamonds and Pearls Empowerment Group. So what I wanted to kind of talk to you ladies about today was just um, what to do when you're expecting your first period. Like you'll never know when that day is going to come. You may not get a a sign, a symptom, or anything like that. Your stomach may not be in cramps or um, back aching or anything like that. You may just be in science class one day and then all of a sudden, hello cupcake, okay? So what I want to talk to you ladies about is just some different things you can expect. Like how long will your, will your first period last? It could last three days. It could last five days. If you're anywhere between the ages of eight years old to 12 years old, you'll be welcoming your cupcake anytime, especially if puberty has started. That means if your breast buds are starting to develop, the closer you may be. Um, if you're getting um, pubic hair, underarm hair, any of those things, those are true signs that you are well on your way, sweet girl. So um, I just wanted to show you some different things. I've had videos about pads and panty liners and um, feminine wipes and, you know, all of those types of things. Um, I've also done a period kit for at home, a locker kit for at school. But I just wanted to just kind of jump on and talk to you ladies about, you know, what you can expect. Can you expect some mood changes or, you know, you're not feeling so happy or you're not feeling your best? Yes, absolutely. So if you are the type of young lady that may be a little nervous about talking to your mom or your dad or your grandma or your aunt, don't be. Every woman in the world has experienced her first period. So don't be nervous. Don't, don't think about it as a bad thing, okay? This is something that every lady has to go through, okay? So just some different things. Here are some pads. And this is you by Kotex. It looks just like this. It comes in this box. You by Kotex for tweens. I absolutely love this brand. It's so colorful. My daughter loves it. Um, as you can see, it has the stars on their hearts. It's awesome. And um, these are panty liners. In my previous videos, I told you ladies about, you know, panty liners. And these are pretty much used for after your cycle has stopped. Okay, to catch that unwanted leakage or any, you know, um, lasting little drops you may have after your period has ran its course. Now, sometimes women can have their period up to seven days. Yes, a whole week you can have your, your, you can have your cycle. So during that time, you want to make sure you drink lots of water. If you are the type of young lady that may have um, menstrual cramps or anything like that, Warm heating pads on your tummy area is very, very good for that. Um, you can buy those in the store. Um, the hand warmers, you can use those because you can tuck those right into your undergarments. They have the little disc that you kind of bend to activate the heating element. And you can put it on your tummy to you know give you a little bit of um, relief from that. I always keep wipes. And these are just regular old flushable training wipes, potty wipes um, in my bathroom. And just so after, I, I don't like to use um, tissue when um, it's that time of the month for me. I love to use wipes because it gives you that fresh feeling when you're wiping, okay? And ladies, you always want to remember, you want to wipe from the front to the back, okay? You don't want to wipe from back to front because you don't want to bring anything from behind up front. Okay, so you want to make sure that you wipe from front to back. Okay, you also want to make sure that you are changing your pads um, at least in eight hours. Okay, at least now, if you are a heavier bleeder, then you know you may go through two of these in eight hours. It just depends on your body. So you have to listen to your body. If you are 8, 9, 10, 11, or 12 years old and you have not yet gotten your period and you carry a purse, just drop you a pad down in your purse so that when that time comes, 
you are ready. You don't want to be caught off guard, okay? You want to be prepared. You can stick these babies inside of your locker. You can put them in a cute little cosmetic bag, as I've showed you guys on some of my previous videos. You can stick it in your cosmetic bag, leave it in your locker. No one will ever know. In your book bag, no one will ever know. If you travel with a purse, just keep one inside the zipper part of your purse, if you carry a purse. If not, just drop it down in your bag. The, the packaging is so cute. No one will ever know that this is a pad unless they're investigating. Okay, but other than that, it's really cute, really discreet, and you want to be prepared. Having a period is nothing to be ashamed of, okay? Only if you're unprepared is when the shame comes in because you mess up your clothing and, you know, all of this stuff. So you want to be prepared, okay? It's Betty. It's Betty. I don't know who Betty is, but it's better to be ready than to be ashamed that you were not ready. All right. So just take you a pad, talk to your mom or your dad or your aunt, or hey, <clears throat> write a note. <clears throat> Excuse me. Write a note. If you're, you know, just that nervous about talking about it and you don't know, you know, how to start that sweet conversation, just write them a letter and letting them know that, you know, you have questions. Okay, or, you know, um, you can always drop me a message here and I will be more than happy to answer any questions you may have um, regarding your first period, regarding pads, panty liners, anything like that. Anything that I can help you with, I will be more than happy to share the information that I have. You also can um, visit my website, www.dpgirlsemp.org or watch... Um, my previous videos. And if you have any questions, you can hit me up. You can email me dp sisterhood at gmail.com. All right, ladies, that's my time. I didn't want to make this video all super long, but I did want to talk to you about um how what you can expect. Okay, and not to be ashamed. This is something that every young lady has gone through at some point in her life. So you do not have to be ashamed, feel disgusted or anything like that. The more you know about your body, the more empowered you will be for when changes come because changes will always come. You are ever changing. Even as you become an adult, different things are happening at different stages in your life. So I hope that this video has helped you guys out in some way. But if you have specific questions, I will be more than happy to answer them for you, okay? I hope that you guys are having a wonderful, wonderful day. And until next time, be sweet. Peace.